All right, you asked for it, the number one school in Pennsylvania. Everybody, welcome back. It's Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert, your local school ambassador. So we're talking number one, number one realtor. You're our number one fan, but let's talk about the number one school district in Pennsylvania. We got Radnor. Now we've done a video on Tread East, and that's Treddy from East Town. For those of you that don't know, now this video isn't for that. You have your own video, Radnor. But check out our whole series of the uh, local districts that we've done. Today we're talking about number one, numero uno, second to none. You're either first or you're last. I wonder if I have to uh, give some credit where that credit's due, but. Look, a lot of people ask about Radnor. We got people flocking to the area so they can move into the Radnor district. We have people buying houses just to be in the district. And you don't have to be next to the high school to be able to go to the entire district. Anywhere in the district will do. If you're looking for a list, hit us up. But let's get to it. Let's talk about it. So according to the Pennsylvania Department of Education, and you know that they, they've got it right because of the whole, there's a whole department that will just state run. It's number one in the entire state. Now it's the second top performing school. So what does all this mean? We talked about this on some other videos, but I'll give you a quick, quick little excerpt in case this is the first video you're watching. So you're not like, well, I haven't seen that video yet, but please hit us up. Check out some of those other videos and hit some likes and hit some subscribes and some comments. And don't forget to click the bell notification. But why, what makes it number one? It's mostly based on outcome of test scores. So the students are given tests which are regulated by the state, which they do get funding from the state, so the state might have something to say about it. But based on the performance of the students, that's how it becomes number one. Now, what does it make it a top performing school versus what have you? Now, we put it together a bunch of websites that we talked about on a whole nother video, uh, niche.com and greatschools.org. Uh, there, there are some really great websites there that we talked about our top three we'll put the link there of that video but they not only look at student performance but they're taking into consideration the student experience also the parents and the teachers get to weigh in because all that's important now the real estate property values are directly proportionate to the school district including the property taxes so Radnor High School recently had 10 merit scholars. Now 36 of them qualified, 11 runners up, but 10 merit scholars. Most of the students achieve exceptionally high efficiency scores, proficiency scores, it's math and reading, and also high SAT scores. Five great schools in Radnor, got three elementaries, a middle school and a high school. We got Ethan, or is it Ethan? Anyway, it's I-T-H-A-N. We got Ethan Elementary, Radnor Elementary, Wayne Elementary, Radnor Middle School, and Radnor High School. And we get people all the time trying to come to, to, to have their kids go to Radnor, or at least to be in the district. So in order to be in any school district in Pennsylvania, you need to have residency there. Now you don't have to own a home, but you do have to be living there and you have to prove it. So if you own a home, we can send them a copy of your deed. We can show them an agreement of sale if you just moved. Uh, to the area and your deed isn't recorded yet, we can show them the closing statement. You also need to produce some other form of proof that you live in the district. So maybe it's an electric bill, check out our cost of living series, or perhaps it's uh, your driver's license that may have the address changed. Now that might be, uh, might come after another time, but we'll help you with it. We, we know how to navigate that very well. And if you're coming to an area and you want to move fast, it's certainly, uh, certainly a fast paced, um, activity to get you in the district, but the district does run and work very, very efficiently and they always work with, with you uh, for any circumstance that it might be. So Radnor encompasses a, a vast area. Definitely we got Radnor, we got Bryn Mawr, Wayne, Rosemont, got St. David's and Newtown Square. Now Wayne is also Tread East Schools, Tread for East Town. That's another video, Tread East. But Make sure we, we know the boundaries and the websites are, are, are super helpful. Uh, the transportation departments in these websites uh, or in these districts, which their links are in the websites, will, will give you exactly where the borders are. Now it sort of looks like somebody kind of closed their eyes and drew on a map in this fashion or maybe had a, a, a couple of a uh, couple of adult beverages and then decided to draw the lines but there is some rhyme and reason to it it's not necessarily they close their eyes and we're drawing uh, it has to do with the uh, ratio 
of students, uh, ratios of civilians. So you've got about 4,000 students in Radnor School District and you have one of the lowest student to teacher ratios of 13 to one. Now that number may be higher, may be lower as of today, which is we are in the school time fall of 2021, but I'm sure whenever you're gonna watch this video, Radner will still be ranked number one or number two, or if they could get any better, they'll, they'll do it. Again, based on test scores, Radner has the highest, that's what makes them number one, <laughs> proficiency in math and reading. Nearly 90% of students make the proficiency level as dictated by our great State Department of Education. So on all the websites that you could find, there are really a few great ones, uh, greatschools.org and, and uh, niche.com or Zaniche. Uh, they are giving A's and A pluses. Now these websites are great. We'll put some links below to these up to the uh, to the websites and to the video that we did, we've done on that. It does talk about test scores. It talks about student to teacher ratio. It talks about the financing, the funding, the the uh, correlation between the township and, and the school district itself. But what is um, most interesting on these sites and these Bradner gets an A plus on every website and actually one of them does a, a ranking of a, of, a, of a number so they get number one but they talk about the diversity of the school they talk about the financial the, the financial representation of, of, of the pupil and how much does each student get from the budget so these are important things it also gives the student opinion parents opinion and the teachers opinion the teachers aren't happy you can imagine how the school is run how the experience is. So they talk about the students, the administration, the faculty, the schools themselves, the after school activities. They also talk about the food. Now I think that's very interesting because I love to eat. I've often been asked, are you hungry? And I've often <laughs> answered, am I awake? Although I do dream about food too. Anyway, it's not about food, it's about Radnor, but these sites and their rankings are uh, very interesting, but, but very, very helpful so you can get a better all picture. The encouragement of the students, their motivation, the accountability that they produce, what kind of a, a broad spectrum of studies do they allow? Do they encourage their students to go on to secondary education? Are they, are they offering the right you know, AP or advanced placement type courses to, to enable them? So as you could imagine, being number one in the state, Radnor ranks right up there with being one of the best places to work in Pennsylvania, according to the teachers. Now, depending on the day of the week, you check it out, but it's definitely in the top five. But the teachers are definitely in the top three of the best teachers in Pennsylvania. You've got over 97% of students graduate, average SAT score of 1320. These are massively important numbers. Now, if you're checking out our channel on living in Philadelphia, you'll see that the school district is ranked uh, pretty poorly as comparison to Radnor, but why do I mention that? Because we don't have to go too far to get to the best, best school district in Pennsylvania, the best in the country. I do want to mention about Philadelphia School District and really any district that gets poor rankings, the teachers care an awful lot. We've got an average teacher's salary of about 95000 and more than 94% of teachers have a secondary degree or a degree of higher education beyond the bachelor's degree. I do want to mention about the student to teacher ratio, which is 13 to 1 here. So some folks have um, commented uh, in, in some colorful ways that the classroom sizes is different than the ratio, which is true. It's the amount of students versus the amount of faculty, there is the ratio. I like the ratio number versus the how big is my class size because of the support you get. More, less students per ratio, or how does that work? More staff per student ratio, that's right, the better experience. But I do want to mention that the class sizes may not be exactly 13 to one. It's probably closer to 20, maybe 24, somewhere between 18 and 24. Um, if you're wondering or if you're asking, and if you weren't, well, I just told you. Now, Radnor Township it was one of the most affluent districts in the entire area, and, and its um, average price point is, is over 600000 The average income is right around a hundred and a quarter, and most people do own their homes in the school district footprint. 
So Radnor is known for its broad spectrum. Like I said, that, that they cast that large net. They, they have available and they offer and they motivate and they, they push a, a vast array of classes, but also their extracurricular activities are internationally known. So with all this great things about it, with all this growth and everything wonderful happening in Radnor, they're also forward thinkers, not just for their students, but administrative wise. They just went in under a major reconstruction within about four or five years ago, it might be six years ago, it's 2021 now, so give or take right around 2015, 2016, I think it was. But they're also looking forward with all the students that are coming in and people flocking to the district and more people having kids and more people being born and more people in the district. They're, they're not at capacity. They're not over capacity. They, they, they understand that and are planning forward. Uh, one of the other parts that makes it an excellent district. They're not these uh, module, mod, mod, modular places that are just adding classrooms like that. They're making uh, expansion part of the school, part of the district. It's not just rolling up some, some, uh, some new space. So Radnor and uh, the surrounding area has got some, uh, some, some great uh, programs available. There's um, Radnor uh, Next Best Chance, or I think it's called Best Chance. There's someone that may not have been able to afford to go to the school, afford to live in the area, or, or even may not be from the area. They're awarded a scholarship. They also has a ton of community involvement, and I can't stress how much how critical that is for any district ranking or any district for that matter is how much does the local community care and how involved are they with the district so um, anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did comment it down below if you didn't comment it down below because we need to know if you have questions let us know you can shoot me a text you can send me an email you can call me anytime gregory martier your local real estate expert your local school district expert have a great day everybody